Have you been walking through a wood supplier and seen one of these? You stop and gaze in awe about how beautiful it is. And then all your wheels and your brain start turning about all the things you can make. A table, a desk, a bar, charcuterie boards. The possibilities are endless. Then you look at the price. Wait, what? How much? For that? Well, I had the same experience just a few days ago. In fact, I've had that experience many times before, and I've been pondering the situation for a long time now. Clearly, the overall price of a slab is literally staggering, but is the price fair? I mean, compared to milled lumber, is the price competitive? Are you getting a good or a bad deal when buying a slab? I was so curious about this a year or so ago, I wrote a small computer program to compute the board foot cost of a slab. This is essentially the opposite of most board foot calculators that give you the total price given the amount of board feet. In this case, I type in the cost of the slab, the dimensions, and it tells me the board foot cost of the slab. Then I can compare that to the typical board foot prices of the same species. You might be wondering, is that a fair comparison? Comparing the effective board foot price of a slab to dimensional lumber. Well, I will get into those details in just a bit. Now, this video isn't about the calculator that I wrote. It's about my supposition, the data the calculator provided, and the conclusions that I've made. What are those conclusions? Well, slabs are overpriced. Very overpriced. There's no other way to say it. Don't believe me? Well, let me prove it to you with some real world data. I went to my new favorite lumber supplier and looked through the rough dimensional lumber. Rough boards are boards cut from logs, but without any additional post-processing such as planing or sanding. They are usually cut on four sides and still have the bandsaw marks and rough cut ends. Occasionally they are skip planed on two sides, but they all need some final milling to be used in projects. Rough cut lumber and slabs are essentially the same thing, rough on all sides. The only difference is a slab usually has the live edge included and rough cut lumber does not. Now, we usually buy slabs for that live edge and we accent it in some way in our project. I will acknowledge some slabs may be processed in ways like planing or sanding. However, the amount of processing that goes into the production costs is something that I will discuss in just a minute. Just keep in mind, slabs are generally the roughest cut lumber possible. They are literally cut straight from a log and let to dry for some period of time. This amount of processing, or the lack thereof, is central to my observation. Very little is done to a slab, and that is by design. You want that rustic, rough appearance when you buy a slab. In comparison, S4S lumber is cut from a log, processed on all four sides, and then plain or sanded on all four sides as well. That is why it's called S4S. It is surfaced on four sides. S4S lumber is the most processed lumber that you can purchase, and it is usually ready for use without any additional work. The amount of work required by you, the person who purchased the wood, is significantly less with surfaced lumber than rough cut lumber. Generally speaking, rough cut lumber is significantly less expensive than surfaced lumber. S2S, lumber that has been surfaced on two sides, is generally less expensive than S4S lumber that has been surfaced on all four sides. Why? Because surfacing requires more labor. Surfacing on four sides requires more labor than surfacing on two sides. As such, S4S is more expensive than S2S, and S2S is more expensive than rough cut lumber. So, let's get back to that slab and my supposition. Let's say you have a slab that has been rough cut and surfaced on two sides. Like this one right here. Depending on what you're going to do with the slab, you have to deal with the live edge in some way. You might remove it or just simply pretty it up. In any case, you need to do something with it. 
That is extra time and labor that may not be required with dimensional lumber. The labor to process a slab is borne by the person working with the slab and no one else. Not the sawyer, not the distributor, and certainly not the reseller. The person that ultimately purchased the slab for use is the one that has to process that live edge. Now is the time for some data and some facts. If you are finding value in this video so far, please consider hitting that like button or subscribing if you think that I've earned it. My new favorite wood supplier sells rough cut four quarter walnut, that is walnut that is one inch in thickness, for about $9.50 a board foot, and four quarter hard maple for about $6 a board foot. These are great prices. I mean really great. Now, I do have to drive an hour there and an hour back, but did I mention they are great prices? By contrast, my closest local wood distributor sells rough cut four quarter walnut for about $13 a board foot. It varies a lot based on the quality of the wood, but it is still about $3 more per board foot, which can add up quickly in a project. That is why I'm willing to spend about two hours driving to save a little bit in the long run. That same supplier also sells S2S walnut for about $19 a board foot, or about $10 more per board foot. Now, that really adds up quickly. That same wood supplier also sells live edge slabs. In fact, they had this slab in the store the other day. It is super thin at barely three quarters of an inch thick and super narrow at a max of 10 inches. However, it was 11 feet long. It has super interesting grain features, but it is also super gnarly and you really can't make anything interesting out of it like furniture or desks. Its primary use would be for cutting boards or charcuterie boards. I was curious how much it would cost for both of the slabs, and after a little calculation, they said $550. I was completely blown away. I was thinking something like $200 for both. The person went on about all the different things that I can make and how I could charge this or that for them and still make a profit. I politely told him I would think about it and get back to him. But I knew the answer was simply a hard no. That experience reanimated my thoughts from a year ago and is what spurred this video. So after getting home, I computed the board foot cost for those slabs. Based on the information that I had, 11 foot long, 10 inches wide, and three quarters of an inch thick, that is about 6.8 board feet for each one of the slabs, or about 13 total board feet. The quoted price was $550 for both slabs. So we divide 515 by 13.4 and we get $40 per board foot. $40 per board foot. Let me say that again. $40 for board foot for S2S Walnut. So you're probably thinking this is a fluke. They're just trying to rip me off or they just sell wood at outrageous prices. Nope, not even close. Let me prove it to you with more data. I was at a different store just a few days later and I saw this olive wood slab. It has nice grain and it is fairly large for olive wood. But it is also very gnarly. There are some cracks and a large unmanageable split at the bottom. There is nothing you can do with this slab other than cut it down or fill it with epoxy. Zooming in, you can see that it is 19 inches wide by 56 inches long by 1.25 inches thick. That is approximately 9.2 board feet. So what is the price for the slab? $350. Once again, let's do the math. 350 divided by 9.2 is $38 a board foot. Is that a good price for olive wood? Well, it turns out I had a really hard time finding a good board foot price for olive wood. It doesn't seem to be sold as dimensional lumber very often. It seems to only be sold as slabs. The good news is that same store also had a nice walnut slab beside the olive wood. 
It was a little bit longer and a lot more narrow. It is 11 inches wide, 101 inches long, and 1.25 inches thick. That is approximately 9.6 board feet. How much for the slab? $250. Again, doing some quick math, 250 divided by 9.64 is just about $26 per board foot. I walked about 50 feet down this door and there I found a wall of S4S, eight quarter walnut for $15 per board foot. About 40% less than that slab and with an additional three quarters of an inch of thickness. More importantly, it is completely surfaced on all sides, ready to use. No processing, no bark removal, no knots to fill, no splits, and no bow ties. Nothing. It is just ready to use. My conclusion? Live edge slab pricing is a scam. Period. Is that a fair conclusion? Well, let's break down some of the variables and see if it makes sense. Some of the variables that jump into mind that affect cost are the size and weight, the delivery costs, processing labor, and market demand. Certainly the size and weight of a slab is much greater than dimensional lumber, but does that extra size and weight justify the nearly 2x increase in price? No, no it does not. Dimensional lumber comes from slabs. It is milled and processed down into smaller sizes, but is usually shipped in bulk. The bulk sizes are usually the same, if not larger than any given slab. So the effective board foot per shipment is roughly the same. Or in other words, the cost to ship a slab is the same as shipping a dimensional lumber bundle. What about the labor? Well, as I just mentioned, dimensional lumber requires processing before shipment. All the same processing as a slab and more. It must be cut to size in all of the dimensions and surfaced as required. Slabs only need to be cut in two dimensions and may be surfaced if required. As such, I believe the cost to process a slab is actually less than dimensional lumber. Certainly processing a slab requires larger scale machinery, but that is a capital expense that should not affect every single item processed. Like most items, labor is usually the driving cost in any project, and wood preparation is no different. Slabs require less processing time and thus less labor to process. By this metric alone, they should be less expensive than dimensional lumber. So why are they more expensive? I believe it's market demand driving up the costs, not material or labor or processing costs. It's a simple law of supply and demand. Live edge slabs are in demand these days, so they command higher prices. I will caveat that by saying I think supply has also increased significantly as well as demand. What do I mean by that? Well, super gnarly live edge slabs that would have been turned into firewood just a few years ago are now selling for twice the cost of grade A clear lumber suitable for the highest quality furniture. Why? I blame Cam at Blacktail Studios and Dylan at Black Forest Wood Company. Just kidding. If the cost of the slab was simply dependent on supply and demand, prices should be flat since both demand and supply is up. But instead, prices are simply up with demand. I really think slab pricing is based on perceived market demand irrespective of supply and processing costs. People want live edge slabs now, so people are willing to pay for it. I believe demand will wane over time, and I hope the cost of slabs will go down as well. For now, we simply need to find a good supplier willing to source slabs at reasonable costs or pay the premium for less than average quality wood. My recommendation is if you find a supplier with reasonable prices and friendly staff, 
purchase from them and not from the chains than mark up mediocre slabs for no reason other than profit. So, what do you think? Are my suppositions and my conclusions accurate? Are those four different variables the primary drivers for costs? Or is it just simply demand? I don't know. Leave your comments down below. If I've forgotten something or if there are variables that I have not considered, also leave your comments down below. I'm interested in your thoughts. Did I get it right or am I completely wrong? If you do work with slabs a lot and you're wondering how to stop your epoxy from bleeding into the surrounding wood, please check out this video right here. Until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you for getting this far. And don't forget to be inspired. Thank <laughs> you.